this is not gonna work for 219 definitely you want to know more about that well i've got something for you right now see you in a few <laughs> Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with ya. Please don't get. Hello, people, welcome back to my channel. Salut, les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. Thank you again for watching my video. This is another day and another video and the same week. <laughs> It's all gonna be a chatty video today. I love showing you whatever I can get in stories, but I think it's all about the why I do everything that I do here in front of the camera for you guys. I think sometimes you need to actually understand the process behind it, really, really often explaining everything. Today it was gonna be all about hacks on how to look stylish in 2019. I was really working on being really basic and really general as the best I could, you know. So it can help the most of you guys out there, so I'll be the happiest person just for that. So it's not about dressing up, it's not about choosing the best brand or the best designer or the most pricey expensive item because at the end of the day it's what you're gonna do with it. The first thing you need to look into when looking stylish is definitely practice and work your confidence and your self-confidence. I'm a passionate, I'm a passionate person in general and when it comes to fashion I think it's just a part of me where I just have that feeling, that feeling where I can do whatever I want because sky is the limit. I can literally transform anything and it's just the beauty behind it and when I know I can inspire people believe me that's the best part of my job there's a difference between somebody that's gonna look super expensive super stylish and still having that kind of lack of confidence people can see that people can feel energy I don't know how I can say it but I love defining people by energy or souls I think it's just much more genuine because we all can dress up the same way I can literally have a t-shirt in the jean and the girl next to me is gonna have the same outfit but then there's gonna be a different if she feels much more confident than me or vice versa at the end of the day I think it's really a matter of how you feel inside that's something that I've seen again and again good energy is what's gonna set you apart and I know by experience that I love sharing energy I love sharing good energy and good vibe it doesn't mean that I'm not sad from time to time it doesn't mean that I don't cry like other people it doesn't mean that sometimes when things just don't work out that I don't feel sad because at the end of the day I'm still a human being right so of course I'm gonna feel sad of course I'm gonna cry from time to time like I'm a big baby deep inside I'm like a really really big baby but I refuse to project any bad energy that I could have because of a specific situation attached to me only and share it with others the ladies out there even when you don't feel confident I'm telling you fake it until you make it yes you heard me if you cry whenever you set your feet out of the door smile fake that smile until it gets real your best weapon ever for people out there the more you're gonna fake it the more you're gonna feel it the more you're gonna realize it the more it's gonna get real and at some point you won't even remember that you were faking it at first just saying I'm just saying when it comes to looking stylish is to definitely have a wild card or have something that I call the three pieces rule that when you want to look stylish having a top and a bottom just won't work out because at the end of the day it's gonna be something that everybody else can have everybody else can dress up that way it's not that it's gonna be bad it's just that if you're looking a way to be stylish you want to do more because that's always the pieces that are expected because if you have a top you need to have a bottom if you have a dress you can add something else three pieces rule is not just about clothing because when we talk about clothing we have to include accessories as well so if you have a dress that counts as a one piece you can go with maybe a vest you can go with a blazer you can go with a kimono during summer because maybe it's too hot wherever you live you can go with a third piece that could be either a hat either a statement bag all of that are what i call pieces it's all about how you can combine 
everything all together when i say wild card and it's something that you're gonna have in my fashion magazine so if you haven't signed up yet the link is gonna be down below it's that piece that's gonna make the difference because three pieces rule they can apply sometimes but not all the time some people just don't like blazers some people don't like vests the idea of having to add a blazer or something else i would call it the wild card if you have a bottom and a top you can add an accessory and that's gonna be the difference i'm gonna show you a couple of things here the first thing is gonna be hats i love adding hats because i think they are the pieces that to me will make the difference sunglasses you can go with something you're already comfortable in of course you're not gonna feel comfortable unless you want to give it a try it could be a specific type of print too it could be a certain type of shoes it could be a jacket it could be something that's gonna be you yet be the wall card to be able to be stylish during winter here you really have to think outside of the box the shape the shape is amazing something else that could be your wall card or just the third piece could be sunglasses and these sunglasses to me are the bomb that come and this one are much more in the nerd side and a little bit bigger transparent to me they just like bring something nerdy but at the same time cool and funky during summer i can understand that sometimes it could get super hot and you don't want to have too much layers and having a third piece because the third piece is not gonna work out everywhere especially if it's like deadly hot deadly warm or deadly humid that rule that i would say could apply of any way of looking stylish would be to wear what fits you and when i say what fits you what really fits you people and i'm not saying that because i want to be mean if you don't find your size you can find anything else similar to that and i'm sure you're still gonna look fabulous if you find the right size for it so we're gonna see something really interesting really cute and we're gonna like convince some selves that we can still buy it and have it to work out with us because we're gonna go to the gym and believe me people that's a really good way to motivate you to go to the gym if you feel like you need to go to the gym I understand that I get it so of course I have my own way of being stubborn with some pieces and be like you know what I can rock it I can definitely rock it I can rock it of course I can rock it what do you think like oh, come on you know you can't <laughs> If it doesn't fit you, just pick something else, like really. That most of the time, it's just gonna stay in the closet forever and never and never. And you could have had that space for something much nicer and that would be the right size for you. Imagine how much space you kind of wasting because of that. I'm like you, I feel your pain. But sometimes if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit i'm not super curvy so sometimes there's a couple of stuff that i'm gonna try on and i'm gonna feel like a 14 year old baby like that's just the reality of it in my case the best thing is to wear something that would be closer to my body because I have a petite shape i can rock the biggest longest skirt ever and i'm just like disappearing inside but i always try to find way to kind of play around with it know some people and some ladies out there they just have a hard time finding the right pieces for them because of the shapes to you to learn how you can dress up your shape better when it comes to the fourth rule is to kind of play with versatility here I say choose versatile pieces i mean that's pretty much basics but what i call basics i have to put the but if you've been on my channel for long enough you know that I'm a far from playing around the basics but again I have some basics it could be t-shirt it could be pencil skirt it could be the classic jeans but choose pieces that you can play in a more versatile way there's a difference there's a difference between having versatile pieces and a difference having pieces that we can play a versatile way where multiple ways that could be unique because of the fact that people see it as just one or two ways of wearing them a blazer is a classic versatile piece because i can combine a blazer with a jean and a t-shirt and that would be amazing that would be cute and that's what i would call the perfect three pieces rule you've got that with that type of outfit now when it comes to unique pieces that people see as wearing it just one or two ways i would include pieces like 
a sequin skirt again there's a way of wearing it during the day because you don't want to look like you're going to the club in the middle of the day that would be a little bit weird here you want to actually turn it down a little bit pair with a t-shirt that would be amazing fabulous a jean top for example is the most versatile classic piece that you would have in your closet and by pairing that with sequin skirt you stand out even more but it's not too much and to even turn it down a little bit more you can pair that with sneakers is what i call the wild card you don't have to add a third layer that gave me that statement outfit great balance between uh, the laid back and still elegant there's a couple of examples that i could just say that would be wild cards for me but you'll have to sign up for my fashion magazine to see the rest and not the rest you don't have to separate everything you have to think about a way of including and combining you don't want to have to always think about oh i have to wear that for that only you want to be able to pick a piece and don't have to think way too much just always think about that like that. The fifth rule now when it comes to looking stylish is to always go with a signature item that you love. I kind of talked about it a little bit in my second rule. It would be a way for you to choose a an accessory that you love the most or you just feel comfortable the most and you know it's gonna fit you the best that's all about choosing your signature item some pieces are not gonna be the best on me so I have to just say adios to them that always goes by trying on stuff there are some colors that look so good on me but I never really tried it because I was way too afraid of trying them out if you have a favorite item it could be a bag maybe you love having to have statement bag stripe like this one and having played with a lot of different outfits and even with my outfits today everything here is really dark there's a couple of details but there's nothing cray cray about my outfit I'm gonna bring much more light to my outfit another statement bag <laughs> I love my statement bags, clearly. What I love about it is that it's a funny bag as well. Uh, you can opt for color, you can opt for a certain type of coat, for example. It could be this coat, for example, a teddy bear coat. And I know you guys were loving my teddy bear coat the last time that I did a haul about it, so thank you. This is a great way, again, here to bring a lot more colors a lot more prints but it's not on your outfit if you're not a fan of colors in general it's really up to you to choose i love being a little bit crazy on my outfit because much more in a way where i don't have to speak so much you know i don't have to talk too much it's really up to you to choose whatever floats your butt if you do that you're gonna feel better you're gonna feel more confident and because of that you're gonna look even more stylish you're gonna project the confidence because you're gonna feel good in whatever you're gonna wear the last thing that i would say if you want to look fabulous and stylish for 2019 or any other year in general is to mix match for breaks yes 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 good it was to be able to read an outfit you want to see the different textures combined that gives you a global vision and a visual appeal that i'm telling you girls ladies out there make a big and huge major difference mixing fabrics could go from having a velvety dress for example and having combined with maybe something much more like vinyl leather this is something that's even more important if you again are not a fan of big prints statement prints pop colors bright colors or anything else literally the whole color palette on you to look stylish some people like it some people don't like it so if you want to play the monochromatic game here think about fabrics think about combining fabrics think about the soft the silk and the more rough and i think monochromatic is even a really nice way of looking stylish especially for smaller or shorter people like me tend to elongate your legs or just make you look a lot taller my favorite way of combining darker neutral palette darker colors is to have a t-shirt a black t-shirt and to combine it with vinyl or later i'm super 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 edgy because i love mixing i don't play by the rules that much like i'm big on friends always trying to have it and to appropriate it again in my own way of seeing life on me <laughs> let's put it that way how different lifestyles so you need to think about how you can make it effective 
good great and efficient for you make it as favorite combos if you have something that you know looks great on you always keep them aside so that the mornings or the days where you just don't have the time for it you go with your combos so we still have the impression that you look stylish but you didn't do much you just went with your combos that's my teddy bear cut again and my little funny pack bag in the back little bag from zara and you see the difference of texture that i was talking about the teddy bear coat and then you got something much more soft because it's much more in the letter it's in here it's really important to say it again you want people to read your outfit another fabric that is really cute is the corduroy not everybody is a fan of corduroy some people think that corduroy is a thing from the past and should stay in the past i disagree to it but not everybody is gonna agree with me disagreeing on it all right <laughs> so it's okay you have pants you have blazers you can find a piece that could look good and fabulous on you it doesn't have to be the complete suit it doesn't have to be the complete thing in corduroy to me much more about combining complete and multiple pieces rather than having just a trendy piece i think that's just my key that's my i want to say that's my strength i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it that was pretty much all about my six rules to look stylish in 2019 i hope it helped you let me know if you're applying these rules in your lifestyle at the moment or if you want to apply them and if you want to apply them what do you want to improve the most to get your inspiration from what do you want to be inspired by let me know in the comment section down below we can talk about it because you know I love talking. It's gonna be something that I'm gonna apply to every outfit that I'm gonna show you in my fashion magazines. It's not gonna be just outfits related to my shape because I'm a stylist. I'm gonna try to include every type of shape. It's free, so you have nothing to lose really. I'm gonna have it every single month for the next couple of months there's gonna be a couple of giveaways there's gonna be a couple of monthly challenges because again that's gonna be a lot of good exercise for you to play around with your style to play around with your pc of course let me know if you want to see anything more on this channel in terms of fashion inspiration lookbooks styling hacks for anything you want to style or a certain piece you're not sure how to style because you know me I always go quick quick with turn on the notification button so that you can stay up to date to whatever is going on on my channel as usual of course I love it I'm gonna see you on my next video next week on Tuesday and until then I'm gonna wish you a happy wonderful amazing weekend and a lot of love and like I say all the time smile because it's free bye